So why is XLM XRP in the entire crypto market down big here as of late? It's got to do with GBTC. Yep, the BTC ETFs are the reason. Massive outflows because of how freaking high the fees are. What are these people doing? And we're going to take a really deep look at price action over the last 90 days. I'm going to show you a few things that are going to blow your mind. There might be some plays here, everyone. We're going to start it off with the viewer because the viewer matters most. And I want to show you all these comments that I've been replying to. Not only am I replying to it, but I'm replying to responses of responses. So I wanted to share with you that, yes, I take tons and tons of time to put comments down because I know it takes you time to put them down. So I value your time. Dwayne Diesel says, I've never seen so many podcasts or Twitter tweets and news stories and personalities fronting XRP. Either Garlinghouse has terrific marketers or all these guys have been fooled or I'm being skeptical. Probably all three because the market doesn't make sense. I added a fourth one and it was how many of those people pumping the crap are deep in the red and that's why they're pumping it. Wait until you see some stats that I got to share with you. There's some plays involved here, okay? You got to look at the data. Bitcoin sitting at 40,647 E, 2374 sold down big, but she's still up high over the last 90 days. Wait to see the chart I got for you. XRP at 52.8, testing 50 cents. Looks like it's going to happen. XLM has been holding fairly strong here, right? Hasn't gotten that close to 11 flat, but we're doing okay. All right, look what I got up on the screen. And don't worry, we're going to talk about why the market is red. It's got to deal with that. Ugh. All right, we'll get back to that. Okay, so what I did was I put a little filters in and what I wanted to show everyone is the movement of these cryptos in the last 90 days, okay? So over the last 90 days, we've dealt with BTC ETF pump news. Uh, we've dealt with XRP ETF pump news. We've dealt with Stellar doing the announcement of the announcement. We've also got Stellar Sorban stuff coming up. We got a whole bunch of stuff. So I picked 90 days. Now look at the cryptos here that are in red versus green over the last 90 days, okay? And this is now done by market cap from highest to lowest. So look at all these in the green right here in this column. Okay, so our first red one is Tether. Don't really give a shit about Tether, stable coin. Scroll on down. Our first one in the red over these last 90 days is XRP down 8.72%. Bitcoin up 17, ETH up 29, BNB up 35. Let's scroll down even more. Cardano up 71%. Avalanche up 185, Tron 16. Ton coin, ton, down 2.8. Dai, stable coin, not really worried about that. Shiba, up 19. Litecoin, down 2.9. Bitcoin Cash, down 10. But the majority of the markets are in the green and in the green by a significant amount. Now look at Stellar. Last 90 days, down 4%. I bet you there's another X one. Yep, Monero, XMR, down 4.8. So if you look at this, right, and just kind of stick with this column that I'm kind of running over right here. Look at all the ones that are big and green. Caspa, Arbitum, Mantle, Hedera, Lido, Dow, Celestia, all these here. And your ones in red are Monero, Stellar, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ton, and XRP. The rest of the market is up big time. It's kind of an observation there because I know some of you out there like to play the laggards. All right. Why is the crypto market selling off since the ETF? Well, it has to do with Grayscale being greedy because they're charging too much. Let me ask you a question. Let's let's go in the land of reality, okay? We're driving down the road, and you know what? Let's go big screen, and then we'll get back into this stuff. I've got the best analogy to share with you why all this BTC action is happening. Okay, we're driving our car, and we need to put gas in our car. So we're driving. We're like in an Impala lowrider, right? We've got Dayton's wire rims. We've got 312s in the back. we got girls in the back. Jumblies all moving. Cool shit, right? but my whip is really low on gas. And because I'm driving a 64 low rider, it's super heavy because I went with super reinforced frames and all that kind of stuff, right? I even got like chrome hydro pumps, okay? I went all deep. So getting bad gas mileage, I see two gas stations. One gas station is charging me $3 a gallon. It's that one right there. The gas station right across the street is charging two seventy. dollars What gas station am I gonna go to put gas in my old pimp ride? I'm going to go to the one that's $2.70, not the $3 one. Now, both sell the same gas. Don't give me this crap. Oh, this one's better quality or that. No, no, no. They sell the same gas. But I'm driving on the road. I've got choices right in front of me. Two choices. $3, $2.70. Which one are you going to put gas in your car? $2.70. Let's learn about Grayscale. 
Okay, so back to Grayscale and why the market is shitting itself. GBTC launched in 2013 and has roughly $23.5 billion in assets under management. The fund converted to an ETF earlier this month, allowing investors to sell funds of its share at its net asset value. The Grayscale ETF charges a 1.5% fee, higher than similar offerings, which charge between 0.19 and 0.39. This is the gas station. So if you wonder why they're dumping tons and tons of Bitcoin, which is now bringing down the price of Bitcoin, of which we know has effects on the market, it's because one gas station is way cheaper than the other. Now, if you're driving your car and you're like, yo, the gas station on my right, which goes with the flow of traffic, we're in the United States, this one's $3, the one on the left is $2.99, you're like, ah, I'm not going to save a penny, I'll go to this one. But this is way different. So think about that. The Grayscale ETF charges a 1.5% fee where most of its competitors are 0.19 to 0.39. So if your biggest holding out there is charging a freakishly high fee and people are like, yo, I can take my money and put it elsewhere where like I'm going to pay like, what, 20% of the fee, 10% of the fee, they're going to go there. Now, what you can see is this. Analyst foresees Bitcoin downtrend until GBTC is liquidated so if they've got billions and billions and billions 23.2 billion right now there's going to be a lot of liquidation happening putting nasty downward pressure on the market which is going to spill over into what everyone the altcoins so when we're looking at this we're looking at this going okay 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 let's get deeper into the numbers and see how bad the pain was grayscales 2.2 billion of net outflows Counter the big BTC ETF inflows reeled in by two financial services giants, BlackRock and Fidelity. Now listen to this. BlackRock and Fidelity together came up with 1.8 billion of inflows. Okay, so those two funds brought in 1.8 billion, but Grayscale lost 2.2. Let that sink in. That is a $400 million difference to the negative side. And the worst part is, is when we look at the data here for how much BTC they got, 566,000, yeah, there's going to be a ton of people getting out of this GBTC crap. Thanks, Grayscale. You made money, you greedy bitches, but you f the rest of the market over. So now you're going to have more people look at these equal products. Hey, this gas station charges $270 and this gas station charges $3. Which one are you going to go to? The $2.71. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to see more and more liquidations happen, putting more and more down pressure on the market, which is going to have a bigger effect on XRP, XL, and the alts than any other news out there. The market moves on Bitcoin. And when we zoom out a little bit and we start looking at, okay, 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 how have the last 90 days looked? Our favorite Xs, XRP, XLM, Monero, are all in the red. The majority of the market is in the green. So, Based on perspective, we can see over the last 90 days, some of our favorites have been obliterated. I mean, think about it. Monero down 4%, while Optimism is up 111% at the same time. Injective, INJ, up 176%. Uniswap, up 40%. Bitcoin Cash, down 10 Stellar, down 4%. ICP, up 197 Litecoin, down 2 the majority of the market is up and it's up big, but our favorites are down over the last 90 days with more data coming in that says the near-term price action looks further to the downside because people are going to liquidate because they don't want to pay $3 for gas. They would rather pay $2.70 a gallon. And that's exactly what's happening with Grayscale and their overpriced piece of shit garbage product, which is screwing the market over, including you, because yes, your alts are going down because BTC liquidations, because of greedy bastards at Grayscale. And remember, who are the people that make money in crypto? The people selling picks and shovels. Grayscale is selling picks and shovels at the tune of 1.5%. So why is the market down big? Well, firstly, it's over-promising and under-delivering. Everyone was saying that the ETF with BTC is going to blow, we're all going to moon. The other reason we're down is because now that people are looking at these products, comparing apples to apples, they're saying, you know what? I'm not paying this high grayscale bullshit fee of 1.5%. I'm going to go get pretty much the exact same product at a quarter percent, a sixth, 
a sixth of what Grayscale is charging. So it's no wonder Grayscale saw 2.2 billion in outflows with the conversion because everyone else's product out there looked way juicier. So now what do we got to do? We got to go and we got to settle through all this reorganization of money. There's going to be way more outflows happening with Grayscale's GBTC bullshit product. And the market is going to have to digest it. Now, I brought up that 90-day chart to show everyone out there that a lot of the bigs in regards to utility and the X's are down big. Well, the rest of the market is up freakishly big. I mean, did you see some of the numbers that I read there? This is insane. I mean, okay, Avalanche up 185, Link up 45, Dot up 52. I mean, come on now, everyone. Like, this is crazy. Uniswap up 40%. Meanwhile, your XLMs, XMRs, XRPs, are down anywhere from 4 to 6% over that same time. So it's not that the fact that like XLM, XRP and all that are down that much. It's the fact that the rest of the market pumped up nuts while those Xs, they stayed right down here. And the crappy part is, is we've got more liquidations coming. So the ones that are down here are going to move down. The ones that are up here are going to move down. Well, the problem is the ones that we like on this channel, they're down here already. So if we have more liquidations, what's going to happen? Yeah, it's going to be pushing things down. I've said time and time again, if you want to make money in the crypto market, the people that make money sell picks and shovels. Grayscale is one of them. And with the 1.5% that they charged, they were making tons of money on that 25 billion in assets under management. And think, every time someone gets rid of it, they got to pay that fee. So they're making tons of money on the sidelines with people living and enjoying the BTC hype frenzy. So who made the money on this move? It's the people selling picks and shovels. I'll catch cool cats later. I sell picks and shovels. I'm a news channel.